This ASG video tip is brought to you by an educational grant from Braintree, a part of Sabella Pharmaceuticals, makers of Sutab. This is a 36-year-old woman who underwent upper endoscopy for dyspepsia and reflux symptoms and was found to have a number of polyps in her stomach, and this led to her undergoing colonoscopy. She had virtually no lower GI tract symptoms, no rectal bleeding, and uh, no diarrhea, no change in bowel habits. She was found to have more than 60 polyps in her colon. You can see that they're of quite variable uh, size, and this was the typical appearance of the lesions throughout the colon. So the correct answer here is juvenile polyposis syndrome. Um, the clue to this is the endoscopic appearance of the polyps, which is they look like inflammatory polyps. They are ulcerated, they have exudate uh, on them. This is very characteristic of juvenile polyps. Inflammatory pseudopolyps in inflammatory bowel disease can also look like this, but there's really no history of inflammatory bowel disease. The intervening mucosa looks normal around here and the large number of gastric uh, polyps characteristic also of juvenile polyposis.